Today, I'm going to tell you what my best item that I've gotten in a Thread Up Fun Box is. It just sold, and so now is the perfect time to recap this particular fun box. I'm Christina. I sell part time on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, and The Real Real. And I am so excited to go over what sold from this particular fun box. This fun box I bought about six months ago, and it was at you know thirty four dollars, the same price that they are now, plus tax, no shipping. And the first item, I got 11 items in this box, so one extra. And I will tell you, spoiler alert, that this was not overall the best fun box I've gotten as far as each item being awesome, but it had by far the best item that I've ever gotten. Okay, so first item that was in the box was a teal cacique bra. And it was their t-shirt bra, and it had kind of a cute name to it. And I'm not going to say it right, but like best kept secrets bra or something like that. It was really adorable, um, bright teal colors, and then it had a secondary strap that had like a pop of pink or purple, and that did sell on Poshmark for $15. If you'd like to go back and watch the unboxing of this video, because it was an awesome box, um, I will link that right above. Second item that was in the box was a orange and white scarf. And it was new with tags, really pretty, um, kind of like polka dotted design to it. The tag, I believe, said that it was from Hardee's. And I think it was like in rupees, so I'm guessing it was maybe an Indian scarf. I tried to look up information about it. I really couldn't find anything. And so that I ended up donating. The next item that was in the box was a pair of Sheen sunglasses. And they were a really cute style, all black sunglasses. Looked like they had never been worn for before. Um, they didn't have the tags, so I'm not 100% sure. Can't talk today. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that they were new, but they were in excellent condition. I looked them up. I comped them out. They, of course, because they're a sheen, don't necessarily sell for much, so I just decided to keep them myself. I have a ton of sunglasses, some no name, some designer, and I can never find them. Like, I, I don't know where they go. They're in my car. They're in my purse. They're in the house. I don't know. Um, anyway, so those I kept for myself, and so that is a zero. The next item that was in the box was by the brand Donna Loren, and this was like a shapewear panty, uh, new with tags, um, or a girdle is what one of my subscribers said they used to be called. So I listed that. I used girdle as a keyword. Um, it is still in my Poshmark and eBay. Uh, it has not sold, so that is also a zero. The next item that was in the box, or two items, were by the brand Cool Socks, and those are kind of the novelty or funny socks. One of them is from the movie Mean Girls, and it says, I think it says Today We Were Pink, or Wednesdays We Were Pink, or something like that. And then the other one had a cuss word on it, so <laughs> um, I didn't list those because I'm not quite sure how to list that without using a cuss word in the title. Um, so I listed the Mean Girl socks. The other ones, maybe I will just send us a plus when those socks sell. Not sure. But those are still listed, so zero. The next item that was in the box was a fashion choker. And it was just kind of like glitter. Um, and the band that goes around the neck is transparent. So when you, you know, have it on, it looks like there's just glitter across your neck. It's cute, but it's just a fashion choker. So I saved that in my stack of like gift with purchases because it was brand new. So that's a zero. The next item that was in the box was a knee brace and it was new. Um, I decided to just go ahead and hold on to this also. <laughs> I held on to a lot of items in this box, um, but I decided to go ahead and hold on to the knee brace because I figure with my two boys in sports, that one of us will need it at some point. So that I held on to, that's a zero. 
The next item that was in the box was by the brand Fit Kicks, and it was like little shoes that are thin um, so that you wear them athletically. Like if you're, you know, like the little shoes that have the toes in them, kind of like that, but these didn't have the toes. Um, just wear them for walking or out and about. Uh, those still have not sold, so also a zero. My dog is barking in the background, and I don't know why. <laughs> so I'll have to go investigate that in a minute. Um, the next item that was in the box was by the brand Jewel, and it was just a zip pull. And it was like a gray leather, and I think it goes to something else. So that I still have not listed. I have it, but I haven't listed it yet. So that is also a zero. And then the next item that was in the box was a gold kind of sequined. It's not, they weren't sequins, but a gold like fashion cuff that you put around and you just twist it. So like a faux leather, but with like little gold accents um, across it. It's not branded, looks like it's in good shape, but wasn't new with tags. Um, I didn't end up listing that and donated it, so that is also a zero. So as you can see, so far, this box is a bummer, but just wait. The last item that I unboxed was another box. It was this really pretty pink box that was tied with a black ribbon had no clue what I was about ready to open. And even once I opened it, I didn't really know what it was, but I opened the box and it was a book. And it was by Danielle Steele called Dating Game. And I thought, oh, this is like a, you know, commemorative novel because the whole front was embroidered. It was fabric cover. You could see the pages, I thought, were gold tipped. <laughs> And it was latched. And so then I thought, well, maybe it's a journal. So when I opened it, I realized it was none of those things. It was actually a clutch. How cool. It was like the coolest thing. So I researched the brand. It's by Olympia Latan, which I had never heard of at the time. Now I'm completely obsessed. Um, and it is a designer handbag company. And they make, they're known for these book clutches that they do. So this one was one of 16 that were made. And they retail typically somewhere between $1,500 and $2,000. Now on the resale market, they are actually still highly sought after. They typically end up selling somewhere in the neighborhood of five to $800. So I listed mine for a little while on the high end just to see what kind of interest I got. <laughs> and I finally decided this month that um, The Real Real had a promotion on handbags. So I decided to go ahead and send it in. And I've been watching on The Real Real these bags, like I check almost every day. And anytime a new one goes up, it's like gone immediately. So I knew when I sent it in, it would sell. And it wouldn't get like discounted or anything like that. So it sold overnight and it sold for $645. Now my cut of that is $393. So when you add up my total revenue for the box, the box was $660 in revenue, mainly because of that clutch. And then when you subtract out what the real real is going to keep, and then also the cost of the box. My profit on this box is $371. So I have to tell you, overall, this box was not great. When you look at item to item, multiple items that I ended up donating or just keeping to use for myself. But this one item was by far the best item I've ever got. So, Bolo, make sure if you ever see a clutch that looks like a book, pick it up. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. I do unboxings every week. I will be doing one tomorrow. Actually, I'm doing a thrift haul tomorrow. And then I'll do a thread up unboxing on Thursday. See y'all then. Bye.